So when he said sva dharma, sva means swell, self, dharma means law. So the law of yourself, he is talking about the law of the self. What is the nature of the self? How does it operate? What is it that you have to do with it? As there is law of the physical, there is laws of the self. He is saying you must live by the laws of the self, not by the physical laws. If you live by the physical laws, this will happen. Today we are friends, tomorrow something comes, we will be fighting. Yes or no? Yes? You are sitting there, I am sitting here. We are nice. If you try to sit here, there will be a fight. Yes or no? Isn't it happening even in the closest of relationships on the planet? Not just be between two nations, not between communities, not between societies. Is it not between happening between husband and wife, father and child, mother and child? Is it not happening? Yes or no? Because this is the physical law that you sit there, I sit here, once in a way I come there, we'll do this. <laughs> if you feel like it, we will hug. But if I sit on your head or if I sit on… you sit on my head, it's not going to work. Yes or no? Now, repeatedly one fly will come and sit here, initially. Initially it just sat here, after some time it started biting, then chuck. <laughs> yes or no? You may not get it, that's different <laughs> but you want to get it, isn't it? <laughs> so this is the nature of the physical. So Krishna is saying if you go by the physical laws, Arjuna is lamenting, how can I kill my brother, how can I kill my grandfather, how can I kill my guru in this battle because they're all on the other side. So Krishna is saying, see you go by the physical laws, you have to kill. They stayed away, you stayed away, no problem. Now we crossed our paths, no… no chance of escaping this. Today or tomorrow you will have to kill. So the moment has come to kill. You can't stop it. This is not your choice or their choice. This is the way of the physical. Physical happens with boundaries. If transgression of boundaries happen, yes or no? For everybody, for everybody in this world you have a boundary, yes? Your enemy means the boundary is there. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your neighbor means boundary is there. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your friend means the boundary is here. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your spouse means the boundary is here, but if he crosses that, there'll be trouble. Your child means the boundary is here, but if he crosses that, there'll be trouble. Yes or no? So, for everybody there is a boundary, isn't it so? However de dear to you they are, isn't there a boundary? Is there a boundary or no? There is a boundary, isn't it? Only if you maintain the boundary. See the yellow line? <laughs> if you maintain the boundary, things work in the physical world. If you cross the boundary, any transgression happens with the boundary, beginning of violence has started, isn't it? First step towards violence has begun, initially it'll happen in words, then little pushing and then chopping. Don't think, no, no, I won't do it, you will also do it. This is the way of the physical. So, Krishna is saying, if you don't want this, you're struggling with this chopping business, you follow your swadharma, the way of the self, where there are no boundaries. You can sit here and be everywhere, you can sit here and be nowhere. Nobody is a transgression in this. When you sit here and there is no… Tra you cannot transgress anybody and nobody can transgress you, if you experience this, then I don't have to pre-tell you, fight the war. But you live by the physical laws and you try to avoid the fight, it is not going to help. Anyway, you have to fight. So how to follow this? You have to turn inward, 
if you live by the way of the physical, collision is just one step away, isn't it so? Yes or no? Colliding with something is just a step away, always. You got to dodge it, all the time dodging, isn't it? If you don't dodge, you will go like this with somebody, invariably. So that's Swadharma. 